I'm Ross McIntyre, and if there's one stretch that you should do every day, it's this. So step your feet about as wide as your hips, maybe wider. Reach back, lace up the hands behind you, and if this is already too much, you can hold on to a strap or towel to bring things a little closer together. Start to squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then find this lift of the arms. Take a big breath, inhale to lift the chest, bend your knees, exhale, come forward. So if you're, if you're tight, things are gonna look more like this. And as you hold this stretch, as you keep breathing, as you keep squeezing the shoulder blades together, keep reaching the arms over the head, that's probably the most important piece of this, the reach of the arms over the head. You're gonna hold this for about a minute and we will see how things open up. Thirty seconds. And I can feel it. I can tell that the, the angle has really changed. Things are opening. Good. That's about a minute. Once you've had enough of this, you can gently let go. And from here, might as well just add in a Jefferson curl. So slowly keep your chin tucked, slowly start to stand all the way up. Head comes up last. All right, awesome. thing that everybody forgets to do is stretching out the wrists. This is important, so it's really easy. Palms down, fingers pointing toward the knees. Make sure there's a little bit of space between hands and the knees here. First, just start to lift and lower the hands like this. And keep palms down, go a little bit side to side. Then add in the counter stretch, just flip the hands over. Go between these two positions. Really get the most out of these wrist stretches going between opposite shapes here. So take as much time as you need doing this. And then moving on, palms down, middle fingertips are gonna be close to each other with the arms straight, same thing, forward and back. Counter stretch here, turn the fingers out to the side, same thing, forward and back. And depending on what works for you, you can bring it wrists together. This works great for some people. It doesn't work for me, so find what works for you. And two more wrist stretches. Open out the arms. Bring the thumbs in first, and then wrap all of the other fingers around the thumbs. Go like this and stretch where the thumb connects to the wrist. You can adjust the rotation here to fine-tune your stretch. Last one, just take a regular fist with the thumb outside, place both hands down. This one is for sure my favorite. Squeeze the hand tight the whole time. Try to keep the arms straight, not a big deal if the elbows bend, just roll this out. And if you've never done this before, this is incredible. But if you just did this and your hand opened, you're not gonna get the stretch, so squeeze the fist tight the whole time and you'll feel it all the way through the wrist up into the forearm. And that is it. Go for it. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making in yoga is sort of blending the postures of the vinyasa together. So I'll, I'll do a bad example. I see a lot of this kind of just speeding through. So think about each posture and articulate it. So you're gonna go from plank, maybe modify chaturanga, doesn't matter, it's all the same. Coming down halfway, hold here if you can, then dog. So that modification if you need, all that happens, knees down, halfway down, then to your up dog. Take your time to go between each posture. 
Don't give me one of these and rush through. And that's it, simple.